I want to bring in uh, Georgia Republican Congressman Jody Heiss. Congressman Heiss, you know, I've heard a lot of fiscal conservatives uh, saying, let's take it slow, let's wait, let's see how it's working out. And I think the danger there is that if it's not working out and you're playing catch up, you won't catch up. In other words, it was the swift action by the Federal Reserve, the swift action by this administration and Congress that I think resulted in today's retail sales numbers. Yeah, it was quick action from uh, Congress, but keep in mind, too, a lot of those funds are just now getting to the market, just now getting in places where they're going to have an impact. And while we have states like my own, Georgia, where we are opening and the economy is absolutely booming, uh, it's just remarkable, the businesses that are opening and the, the numbers, the mass numbers of people who are out participating in it, uh, we still have blue states that are shut down still. And... To be honest with you, Charles, there is no amount of money that can open up an economy where businesses are not open. A free economy requires oh. an open economy. Sure, sure. I, 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 there's no debating that. Uh, certainly someone who lives in New Jersey works in New York. Uh, you look at those states, you look at Michigan, you look at California, you look at the distribution of the PPP money, and most of it went to those states. And these businesses probably need more because they didn't get consumers in the doors. But but having said that, a major debate is brewing on Capitol Hill. How do you see yourself voting? I mean, you know, and again, I think they should frame it instead of like relief, because those previous packages were relief. They, those were, you know, to save people. Maybe if they framed it more as stimulus to truly get us over the top as a nation. Yeah, I mean, but I, at the end of the day, Charles, we have to see what's in this thing. To this point, the Democrats have been good about filling up all these stimulus bills with Democratic agenda items. I yeah. mean, we don't need to be going down that path, and so it's unfair to, to go that. Here's what I do know, though. Without any question, the fundamentals of the economy are strong. I mean, we just came out of the greatest economy in the history of our nation. Those principles, those foundations still remain. So as we right. uh, set the standard for businesses to get back in play, I think we're going to see those fundamentals kick in again and businesses will boom right where they were. So it's going to be a, a, I, I a think right on that. to see uh, how this goes. Yeah. Let me just, uh, because we're going to run out of time, I was watching the hearings uh, and Virtually every Democratic senator that spoke today uh, on that on panel talked about the wealth gap between blacks and whites. And Jerome Powell, for the most part, just kind of nodded his head. He didn't even interject when he had a, point, a chance to sort of mitigate some of the, the baiting, if you will, the race baiting. But I feel like the Republicans are now being set up uh, that if they don't provide any additional stimulus, that it will not only become an issue, an uh, economic issue, but they'll say, hey, these folks are racist. You knew that blacks were most vulnerable. You didn't add any extra stimulus, and look what happened. Yeah, listen, those kinds of arguments and uh, gamemanship have always been around, and they always will be, perhaps now more than at other times. But again, keep in mind, uh, minority groups of all kinds had lowest unemployment before this pandemic. They were making more money. Uh, jobs were abundant. That's where we want to get back to. So people can make accusations, can throw stones anywhere they want to. But this president and the economy we had and the economy that we're going back to is going to well serve every American citizen who's ready to get out and work. And that is the American dream. Uh, that's where uh, we've been. That's where we're going to get back to, regardless of whatever accusations come our way. All right. Hey, the same tide lifts all ships. Congressman, thank you very much. Appreciate it.